Hey all, once again welcome back to our channel Look Out with Hanshi. So today I am going to show you how I will, uh, how my evening routine will be with a newborn as a mom. So my evening usually starts around like uh, 3, 3.30 in the evening and today I have decided to set up a Christmas tree. Uh, though we don't celebrate the Christmas but we still love to get gathered to the people and uh, sing those beautiful uh, wonderful songs like Jingle Bell, Jingle bell jingle all the way i love to sing that song and i wanted to uh, i wanted my baby to have a photo shoot with the christmas tree so i just invested a good amount uh, and uh, bought this christmas tree so that i can decorate it and have and capture the first christmas with her uh, so here I'm going to decorate the Christmas tree uh, with all the things what I brought and I have my coffee table here uh, so which is actually a double uh, coffee table. The upper table would be used uh, as a coffee table uh, if unknown guest uh, for the unknown guest to put all the things and the other table a uh, small one I'm using it to decorate. I'm using it to put uh, the Christmas tree. And I just loved the way how it turned and it looks so gorgeous and I have this small little uh, trees which I brought uh, very long ago uh, from Ikea uh, so I thought uh, why can I uh, why I cannot place this here but I thought they are uh, I mean they look very empty so thought of adding this little stars so that uh, you know they'll have a perfect look and i have this uh, star candle holder i'm just putting it on the table uh, so this is how uh, my christmas tree looks like i mean very 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 pretty and uh, coming to the door i mean for the door even we are supposed to put it right uh, i am going to hang uh, uh, with the help of the holder like stick on holder i'm going to hang uh, around uh, I mean uh, the door hanger which is in green color uh, so and which also looks amazing at the entrance and I have uh, I mean added the fairy lights for the lighting and I have this uh, jingle bells uh, from, uh, from the same day for Christmas decor and added a candle a battery hole light candle and uh, put it on put it on there and it looks so gorgeous and so welcoming on the door so this is how it almost took one hour from me uh, for me for like uh, three o'clock i have started it until four i was decorating the same thing and at four o'clock uh, we are into the park and Lakshita likes to go outdoor these days she loves to see the sky around the birds and the greenery and if we, uh, the mohan is here uh, at home he will uh, come out for the walking with me and Lakshita i will have a good time with her too uh, like she loves the time and around six o'clock uh, like four to six we will be in the park for a walk and at six o'clock we'll come back home this is our normal uh, day routine if you are willing to go go out for your park and after coming back home at six i just put on all the lights uh, add um, essence oil to my diffuser and have that wonderful fragrance at home and switch on all the lights i mean uh, whatever the spotlights i have but to have that good uh, you know uh, look at the house and of course i lit the candles too the aroma candles too to have that wonderful fragrance at home And 6 to 7 or 8 is usually the tummy time for uh, Lakshita. So he started uh, rolling these days and I invested on this mat. I bought it uh, from Amazon and it is a pretty decent size. And tummy time builds your baby, uh, baby for the head, neck and also builds the body strength and also develops the skills like scrolling, 
roll over sit up and stand so it is the best time for her in a day to play around and uh, uh, she'll alone um, play without any you know noises or something with the toys meanwhile she is playing i am in the kitchen to make the dinner and today we really wanted to have a uh, i mean non veg fancy kind of dinner so i am going to cook the prawns fried rice today uh, so for that i am going to take two uh, glasses of uh, or two cups of basmati rice and wash it thoroughly and put it for three whistles in the cooker and the recipe is super simple super delicious it is and meanwhile uh, that is cooking i will uh, cut the vegetables uh, like uh, two onions one tomato uh, green chilies carrot and uh, uh, coriander leaves and uh, spring onions so tomato in the dish is optional i like it this way so i have added it if you are not a person like who usually don't like tomatoes in all the dishes you can really avoid it so the rice is cooked really well i'm just checking whether it is cooked well or not it has done uh, it has perfectly cooked now i am going to put it uh, uh, for uh, i'm going to put it in a tray or a big plate so that i can put it under the fan and make it little cool so that it would be easy for me to have the fried rice so that it won't stick to the uh, kadai and uh, it would be really um, the rice is need to be caramelized for the ca uh, for the fried rice meanwhile that is getting cooled down i am going to add a kadai in the kadai on the stove and add around like 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil and two eggs which is mixed with salt and the pepper i am going to put uh, put it on the kadai and make a omelet pieces and once it is cooked i'm going to take it out and put it aside to the same kadai i'm going to uh, do the um, i'm going to do the fried rice too so i'm going to add 6 to 7 tablespoons of uh, cooking oil and I, once it is heated i'm going to add the green chilies onions uh, once they are fried i'm going to add tomatoes uh, carrot and a little bit of spring onion Meanwhile I am cooking uh Mohan usually helps me Mohan or Ratama usually helps me to feed her even if she cries or they go in to take care of her and that's Lakshita's milestone <laughs> she now uh, learned how to hold an empty a uh, bottle so once they are all uh, cooked well uh, fried well i am going to add the prawns which are cooked earlier uh, like with just boiled with the normal water and pinch of salt and i am going to add sezwan se uh, fried rice masala to it and once that is little uh, you know uh, fried i am going to add ginger garlic paste a uh, very little because i didn't add any raw ginger or the garlic to the mixture so for that uh, and again i am going to add a chili sauce tomato sauce and um, so your sauce mixed together in a bowl and i'm going to add it directly and make it uh, uh, cooked with the lid with covering by lid for 2 uh, to 3 minutes so the prawn absorbs all the masalas and uh, tastes it tastes very uh, yummy and after two minutes i'm going to mix all the mixture 
and add the boiled rice it's better if you add it with your hands because uh, if there are lumps on the rice we, you can break it with the hands and put it so once the rice is added mix it all really well until everything is mixed and now i am going to add the egg which i have prepared before and mix the rice really well and at the end i am going to add some spring onions and which are cutted into a uh, small pieces and i am going to add coriander leaves for the taste and this is also an optional one for coriander leaves if somebody likes they can otherwise uh, that's completely an optional one so the prawns fried rice is all ready and i'm going to serve it uh, in the plates and we'll enjoy the dish and i'm going to add uh, uh, onions uh, raw onions and a dash of lemon to enjoy the taste so we are all done with the dinner and it's time for me to clean the kitchen so i like to clean uh, the kitchen every night uh, before uh, after completing the dinner and after every meal i'm going to you know clean the gas hob the black splashes and the complete hob and the liquid here i am using is a homemade liquid uh, which is made with uh, dishwash vinegar and baking soda it really works very effectively if any grease on the stove or on the black splashes it really works well and you don't need to you know rub really hard it easily going to remove all the strains and the oily marks so after cleaning the hob i am i will also clean the countertop the whole countertop removing all the items whatever i have out on the counter so this is the reason why i say the trays are really important you don't need to you know move everything uh, to clean one one part of the kitchen so if it is arranged in the tray you just need to re uh, adjust the tray uh, i mean move the tray and just clean it around So once the countertop and the hob is really uh, cleaned well, I am going to clean uh, the burners and uh, put it back on their place. So dishes, I usually don't uh, may pile up the dishes. I just wash them whenever I, I feel there are lots of dishes. Or meanwhile, the cooking uh, we will usually have breaks. Mean meanwhile when I'm cooking, so I try to avoid uh, uh, you know piling up the dishes. So this is uh, the everyday task where I do, and without doing this, uh, it's like very rare days I sleep without doing dishes or cleaning the kitchen. So once I'm done with the uh, dishes, I'm going to put them aside, maybe on the table or the chair. And uh, early in the morning when I come back to the kitchen, uh, the first thing I do is uh, arranging them in the kitchen cabinets. And every day has told every night, I just clean up the sink area uh, very thoroughly with the dishwash. And I can wake up with this beautiful, arranged, organized, uh, cleaned kitchen. Uh, it looks so fresh in the morning when I just come back to the kitchen. So this is all for the video. Hope you like it. See you all on the next video very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Hope you like this video.